Hi guys, my name is Yelena and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to show you how I'm making my royal icing that everybody asking me. I'm doing um, cake decorating and cookie decorating classes and this is one of the questions that you guys always ask me how I'm making my royal icing and what kind of texture I make and uh, what's all involved in the process so I decided to hey why not make a video about it and show you uh, how I make it so this is very easy like I was telling you all in classes all you need is just a couple ingredients you need powdered sugar and I buy just regular plain in the grocery store powdered sugar then you need meringue powder I use you can buy it in the Walmart, it's Wilton brand. It's just Wilton meringue powder. And then you need water, that's all. So for this, I'm making just one batch today, just for you guys can see. So I'm making one recipe. So you need one pound of powdered sugar and you put it in your mixer bowl. I usually weight it on a scale, so for those of you who don't have scale on hand it's about three and three quarter of a cup of powdered sugar that makes about a pound and just when you measure it you just dip your cup in the powdered sugar try not to pack it and just shake off axis make it level so kind of that will be your one cup, like that. And three quarter, kind of about like that. So the cup and three quarter. And that should be about the pound, okay? So a pound of powdered sugar, then you will need three tablespoons of meringue powder. And again, just measure it out. Make sure it's level. One, two, three. Okay. And I will start with six tablespoons of water so you just put right out there in the bowl so one two three four five six okay and you put it in a mixer Usually you will see that they recommend to have a whisk to mix it with. I find it's actually easier to mix it with a paddle and it's not as hard on a mixer because I burned quite a few mixers by mixing hard things in there. So you start with slow speed. Make sure all the liquid and powder incorporated. So this is what we having right now. It's all liquid incorporated, so you just have all the same looking mushy stuff. And right now, so it's kind of thick. So that was six tablespoons of water so 
I feel like if you want to do flowers or something that you need shape be nice and crisp, go ahead and stop at that. For what I'm making this royal icing, I'm gonna be doing cookies later in the week, so I need it a little easier to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more tablespoon of water. And you will see what difference it will make. So all my water incorporated and look how it looks now. See how it's now all soupier looking? See it comes off my spatula. All right, so I like that. So I'm gonna stop. Now you're gonna put it back to mix on a high speed for about seven minutes and we'll check back. the sides of the bowl make sure everything gets mixed one more time so now it's getting creamy and fluffy and turns pretty white color so just a little longer what we got and you can see it now okay so it's turns white color it's fluffy but it's still very thick. So when you put it in the bag, start outlining, or if you need to do flowers, it still should hold shape. Um, if it's still kind of stiff for you and it's hard to squeeze out for your outlines, go ahead and add a little bit more water and uh, whip it up and just check. But this is basically it. Now to keep it, I usually put in a little container. Plastic container is good. And you put it in. Okay. Make sure it's all covered tight. And I usually put a date on it. You can keep it in the fridge for about two weeks and then make sure you use it up or discard it. So I like to put what's in there, just make sure nobody touches it and use by and what date, make sure you don't forget about that. And that shall do it. Thank you everyone for watching it and uh, we'll see you next time. Just make sure don't forget to like my page and hopefully I'll post more videos and uh, we'll have all fun together and maybe learn new things. Thank you, everybody. Bye.